Hey everyone, it's Rob from Hypop and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're taking you along in one of our shoots featuring one light, one smartphone and how to take professional looking product photography shots featuring the Spectrum Pro Boards. I'm Kate and I'm gonna start off by shooting a drink scene. So here I have a can of rosé and I'm gonna show you how exactly to achieve this shot with just one light and a phone. Okay, so for the backdrop, I have a couple of Spectrum Pro Board options here. Now these are really handy because they don't wrinkle or curl. So you don't have to worry about editing out any imperfections on your phone in post. They're also water resistant, so you can just wipe away any liquid that's spilled. They come in options of two, but if you do end up buying multiple options, you can just mix and match them in any combination you want. So we'll start with Bare Necessities, which has the beige nude color on one side and the latte brown color on the other side. We'll be working with the lighter side today. They also come with these stands, which makes it really easy to set up. So for all of today's shoots, we're gonna keep it nice and simple with just one light and the iPhone 12 Pro Max as the camera. For the lighting setup, I have here with me a 260 centimeter heavy duty stand and the second version of the Godox SL60. The original SL60 is super popular as a starter light for product photographers and content creators, so Godox have bought out a second version. The light output and quality is the same, they've just added eight lighting effect modes and wireless control via the Godox app. Of course, you can also use natural light. The great thing about these Pro Boards is they're mobile, so you can set them up close to a window or even take them outside. But if you don't want to rely on the weather, then this light is a great starter for beginners because it has a high color accuracy and it also has a Bowens mount, which means you have lots of options for light modifiers that you can buy down the track. They're relatively affordable as well, so if you are interested in any of the products, you'll be able to find them in the description box below. Now that we have the scene set up, let's turn on the light and see how it looks. It's okay, but I kind of wanted my light to give off more of a direct sunlight kind of vibe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the softbox off the light. The great thing about using continuous light if you are a beginner is you can always see what your light looks like when you're working. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how the light looks in that one. I definitely prefer it without the diffusion for this shot. So you can actually see that it's creating harder shadows so it makes it feel more like a sunny day rather than a cloudy day. In this bottle, I have one part water, one part glycerin. We're gonna be using this to create the illusion of condensation on the can. The glycerin basically stops the water from dripping so fast and also creates larger droplets. So all you need to do is shake this bottle and spray the mixture onto the can. The great thing about the Pro Boards is they're water resistant, so you don't have to worry about damaging your backdrop. For another shot, here we have one of our favorite ways to style product photography. Our hands. Hands are great because one, they show the size and scale of the product. Two, they demonstrate how the product should be used or held. Or, and three, they add a human element. So for the next shot, I'm gonna be capturing a shot where I pour a drink into a glass. So a wireless Bluetooth remote is gonna be perfect for something like this because it means I'm able to pour the drink into the glass while also capturing the shot. So let's see if I can get the shot on a smartphone. Oh, 
Awesome. I think we've got the shot. That actually turned out better than I expected. So let's move on to the next shoot, which is some cosmetic product photography. In the previous shot, we used our backdrops as a floor to wall setup. But for this shot, I'm just gonna be using one board as a flat lay backdrop. So we're gonna be shooting this skincare product and basing the styling around some of its ingredients. I personally love using fruit as a prop because they're naturally really colorful and always bring more pop and texture to your photos. So for this shot, I want my light to be as even and as soft as possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the soft box back on the light and also have the light as overhead as possible. Again, if you were wanting to use natural light, you could always set this up next to a window on a cloudy day. But for today, I'm gonna use the light and I'm also going to use a reflector on the other side to help fill in some of those shadows. Okay, so we'll take a few shots and see how it looks. And here's the final result. Moving on to the next shot, we have here a scented candle. Now, candles can sometimes be a little bit boring to shoot, but I have a few things up my sleeve to make this photo a little bit more interesting. For this shot, we'll be using a pro board that has a textured design instead of a solid color. This is really where the pro boards shine because you can make whole scenes with them without having to find a completely new shoot location every time. Compared to a standard backdrop, they're really rigid, so you don't really need any other equipment to help set them up. I quite like the white tile and the white marble, so let's run with that. A trick with shooting a scene like this is to create more depth and dimension with product placement. When you're shooting on the phone, you have limited control. So you can see how doing something as simple as moving the candle from here to here changes the shot. You can see by doing something as simple as playing around with the placement of an object changes the dynamic of a photo so quickly. You can also try shooting the shot on portrait mode if your phone has that, but if not, just try for moving further away from the scene and zooming in instead. I have a few props here with me to make this photo a little bit more convincing, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay those out so we can take an in situ shot of the candle. And that's a wrap on all three product shoots this afternoon. I'd say we were pretty successful sticking to shooting on a smartphone. Here are all three results on screen now. Make sure you let us know what you think in the comment section below and we'll see you next time.